Okay, it's Andy Graham of Hobo Traveler. I'm in Karatoko, West Africa, and I extended the range of my USB wireless modem by... <coughs> I got this beyond the wall, wall, exterior wall of the building, and I know that there's a tower directly there. And then it uh, goes... This is... A, you can only have about a six-foot-long cable. And what I did is I increased the... Uh, the bars by about... One kind of changes during the day, but uh, we have two different grades. We have like uh, 3G and uh, that year, so it bounces back and forth. But um, when you have a USB modem, what I understand is that there's all these concrete buildings also have wire, you know, they have rebar inside them. So what you're doing is you're creating a box. So somehow you got to get outside the box. But I also try this in. Uh, Lomi Togo, the same thing, I just took a coat hanger, I, I wrapped it in a way that it held just the the cord, it, does, it doesn't actually, if you look at this, it doesn't actually, uh, it doesn't actually connect to the modem, but uh, then I, got ex I wrapped it around this thing and it's just extending it up. So that's just a coat hanger, a normal coat hanger, <laughs> a little more difficult than used to be, but uh, used to be you could get steel ones pretty easy. But uh, can't get my face in here. Here's a coat hanger and I just uh, extended it. Um, I'm a little worried about the rain and the sun, the sun beating down on it. I had it in earlier, I just bent it inside and then I see I have a, a screen, screen here and uh, I closed the screen, but I I brought it back inside. I'm a little worried that the sun will melt the thing or the rain will somehow burn it up. But it's the difference between me watching a movie in relatively ease. I can watch movies on YouTube here in Karatoga, West Africa with a USB modem. And I, I get the freedom to live anywhere in the country. But somehow you gotta get yourself up high and if I had a if I could actually see the antenna in my hotel, I mean, if, if you looked out your window and you saw the uh, the tower, one of the towers, and they got this one beak, they'll have one one antenna sticking up on the tower. If you could see that, line of sight, and then you could point this at this, you could, you know, optimize your signal. Um, in the best of all worlds, you know, you don't have concrete walls and stuff. People, people... People, for some reason, believe that, I don't know. Of course, they don't understand any kind of physics or understand concrete. Any kind of barrier or whatever slows down the, the signal, the réseau in French, and makes it. And, but I've been, never been able to figure out how to get this thing extended that works. I get, I, they have power cords, and they act like they work, but I... As far as I can see, a six-foot cord is all I'm going to get. And then it does cause a problem because if I put my computer right in front of the window, it actually works better with the window open. And if I actually leave the computer open and a rainstorm come, it's not the place to have your computer. So you're kind of always a catch-22 and you're always spending all your time optimizing. But this is how I optimize a USB wireless modem that connects to a cell phone tower. Um, I think in about two more years we will be able to... I mean all of Africa is really ahead of America in a way. I mean for $20 a month I have un unlimited internet here. For $30 a month unlimited internet. And it's almost, you know, if they went to 4G all the way through the world with these USB modems, you know, It'd be just like being in America in a way, other than, you know, you can't download movies that easy. But, um, and they block them sometimes. They'll block things like, uh, you know, torrents and stuff. But this is uh, the way to do it. Okay. Um, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. And then, you know, ask questions by writing me directly. Don't post questions on the thing. I'm not going to answer them because I'm not going to sit there and go through all these things. I mean, uh, it's, it's just a mental distraction to think I want to read 
comments from readers all the time. But if you can write me an email, I'll read it. Takes a little work, so it slows you guys down. I'm not trying to slow you down. I'm trying to get the guys that are serious. Okay, Andy Graham, I want to help you, but I don't. I don't want to give guys a way to just, you know, they, they just fiddle with their brain, right? Okay, Andy Graham, hobo traveler in uh, Karatogo, West Africa. That's uh, near Ghana, guys. Tonight, let's flip a call.